Apaloza, Jackal 5, Master 6, Reflection 7, Vortex 8. 8 negates. He's going to rage quit right now. He's four cards in hand. He's going to rage quit. Later. Master Duelist, I'm back to Master Duel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to play Endymion properly and destroy these tier limit loser bozos that secretly wish they played a great deck like Pendulum. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys my unbeatable 44 win streak deck where I won 44 games in a row, and I'm going to show you proof right now. Ah, let's go! I'm hyped! We're back to Master Duel. If you guys want to see more Master Duel content, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to smash the like button. Comment below if you want to see more Master Duel. I'm going to show you guys right now the deck list. Not just the deck list, but also I'm going to show you guys Duel. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how we went 44-0 with Pendulum. It's the best deck. And you need to stay tuned for the entire video. Because if you don't, you're never going to know why this deck went 44-0. and Because there's some secrets that I'll reveal with the full guide for every Master Duelist. And if you're tired of playing tier limit loser bozo idiot decks, and if you want big biceps, here's the deck. It's Pendulums. Let's go. And just so you guys see, we actually went 44-0 right here. Most consecutive standard dual wins. 44 in a row, all with Pendulum in a row. Easy. And guess what? All the Master Duel tournaments, you're next. Let's get straight into this video. Let's go. Look at this shit. I can't even fit through walls with my lats, bro. Now, a lot of people are playing Pendulum the wrong way. You need to play it properly. So watch closely as how I play this. I'm going second here against this rock deck emancipator whatever and don't worry you're gonna see in the future if this video gets 1000 likes i'm gonna be posting videos of obliterating tier limit six interruption tier limit easy just by drawing any single hand in fact it's incredibly easy to do so now i know what you're thinking triff you gotta be using some beard oil because your beard is insane i know i know my beard's crazy but i don't use beard oil i just oil up my opponent and that sounded weird, but I destroy them and obliterate them. Let's go. He's gonna summon block dragon. I don't care. You think I gave a block? You think I gave a block dragon? I'm about to cook him with the best deck. So pay close attention to this. It's gonna blow your mind. Damn, yo, look at that crisp lineup. Damn. Triff fades coming soon. If you want ugly hair, I cannot, I cannot do fades. I cannot do lineup. But my opponent is about to catch this fade. You're gonna see this barrier statue. Now he thinks this barrier statue is gonna stop me. Really? Normal summon, activate spell mastery, ash blossom. So we're dealing with so many interruptions here. I have to stop the video here. Talents are gonna take one of his cards. You get to look. That's Ash, that's Barrier Statue. That's Crystal Wing, that's IP Masquerina, that's Block Dragon searching for a bunch. That's four interruptions. I'm gonna stop all of them. Why? Kind of the goat, that's why. So you're gonna look over here. I'm gonna talent take his Masquerina, forcing him to chain the Masquerina. I'm gonna take his Crystal Wing. The Crystal Wing is not gonna be able to gate. Negate his block dragon or unicorn. He chain blocks to be able to search. I negate the shit out of the unicorn with his own crystal wing. This is why you gotta play talents in your deck. You don't my deck plays zero hand traps. No maxi, no ash. Those are for losers. I like not you. You're not a loser because you're about to play pendulum on the best deck. Now don't worry, I'm gonna show you guys the deck list at the end of the video. And this is 44 and 0. This is why I'm clapping every single deck. I'm just gonna draw instantly. In fact, I'm expecting a rage quit at any moment now. We have the abductor, we have the servant, and the whole game plan of this deck is simple. You want to draw so many times that you just have so many spell counters with cards like Chicken Game, Upstart Goblin, Desires, and your Abductor, your Servant, they all gain free value. That's the game plan of the deck. You want to keep playing and drawing and drawing and drawing and drawing until every single one of your spell book, spell casters and Endemians can resolve all their effects. So Servant can resolve the effect, Mighty Master can resolve the effect, so all of them can resolve the effect. Now I'm going to trigger my Servant. Look at, like, look at, I'm going second. I just broke his entire board. I just broke his entire board of Barrier Statue, Ash Blossom, Masquerina, Crystal Wing, like it was nothing. And I didn't just break it. I literally have five monsters on board and four cards in hand. Like, I didn't even start playing it. Now I'm going to summon the best card in the game, which is Bad in TCG, which is 90% of the reason why I'm playing Master Duel now. I missed this card. I'm going to draw five cards in hand, bro. Like, how is this even remotely fair? This deck's unbeatable. There's a reason why I went 44 and 0 with this deck. Uh, so I'm going to use Celine's effect. Celine's going to special reflection to bounce back the unicorn that he has. Because it could be it's undestructible because IP Mascarena. Then I'm gonna summon Absolute Dragon, Cross Sheep. I'm gonna summon a fusion underneath his zone of cross sheep. Cross sheep effect will trigger the special summon. Guess what? I'm gonna go into dark now. Why? To take his Mascarena. Thanks for the interruption, my friend. I just stole his, his card. It's mine now! Ha <laughs> ha! Loser. And then I'm gonna go into Celine. Now, the most beautiful thing about the saw, I'm gonna use Celine here. I didn't even pendulum summon yet. And I just pendulum two I don't even I save all the cards in my I don't need them. I don't need them. 
I only I did all this without pendulum summoning. I pendulum two monsters now. Jackal Abductor, Mighty Master Effect. Gonna destroy my own card. The pop the abductor. I'm not gonna scale that to get more counters. And I'm not even gonna use the effect of Selene, especially on interruption, because the second he summons Block Dragon, and this is very next level pendulum thinking. The second he summons Block Dragon, I'm gonna use Selene effect of special reflection from the graveyard to bounce it back to the hand. You know he has four Ursa Grave, can't resolve that a second time. I'm going too fast for you. Hit the gym, baby. Yeah, let's go! Because Pendulum is the best deck. Look at this. It's unstoppable. Like, I broke his board of four negates, and I put up a board of five negates myself. And this Masquerina is going to go for an Apoloza for four. So it's actually four Apoloza, Jackal five, Master six, Reflection seven, Vortex eight. Eight negates. He's going to rage quit right now. He's four cards in hand. He's going to rage quit. Later. Easy. Too easy. That's dual one. Easy. Finished. More like rage quit. Babayeto. Surrendered. Later. And this is the deck list. Now, I'm going to go over the names of all of them. This is a deck that I went 44 and always in Master Duel. Pay close attention. I told you guys, if you want to see duels of tier limit, I'm talking about destroying tier limit through six interruptions. They put up, I have a duel where tier limit put up Winda, Rulkalos, uh, Kalado Heart, Maxi, Ash Blossom, Bistial Magnemont. They got OTK'd. Through that six, interrupt six, six interruptions with Maxi, Ash, Winda, He's OTK, and after I OTK'd, I put up six negates of my own. If you guys want to see that replay and how I, we obliterate this deck and really how to play this deck properly, going through a bunch of replays, destroying this deck. And if you guys want to see me more with more Master Duel, I want you guys just to smash the like button and comment below. Comment if you guys want to see it, and we'll run it. We're going to destroy every single pleb on Master Duel. Because we're here to stay. We're here to conquer. Let's go. Ow! I just punched the mic. I hope the mic's okay. Are you okay, loser Mike? No, you play Pendulums. This is my deck list. Two Magician Souls. You do not need more because you're gonna normal. This is a real way to play Endymion. If everyone wants to play Pendulums, this is how you do it. There's no other loser way to do it. No, 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 Mythical Beast bullshit. They suck. They're ass. They're garbage. If you want to win, you got to play this. The only ass that we're gonna slap is our opponents because we're gonna win all day and smack them silly. Two Magician Souls. One Spellbook Magician of Prophecy. You go into Crowley quite often and you get the free Spellbook of Knowledge. The Spellbook of Knowledge gets you more counters. Look at the deck. It's draw, 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 draw. I'm going to just go through the draw cards in the deck really quickly before I continue with the deck list. Two souls, that's draw cards. Swap blue, right? There's three draw cards. Three upstar goblin, that's six draw cards. Three into the void, that's nine draw cards. Secrets, that's 10 draw cards. Two desire, that's 12 draw cards. Knowledge, 13 draw cards. Engage, oh yeah, that's right. Engage in this deck is absurd because it literally just says, search Widow Anchor, draw one. Search Hornet, draw one, draw two. It's, it says draw two. Drawing Engage says draw two because you resolve it twice. That's 15 draw cards. Then, we're not done yet. Then, we have Talents, which is a draw card. That's 16, 17. Three chicken game, that's 20 draw cards. And then Hornet, going second, will go into Hayate, which will get engaged. That's 21 draw cards. We have more draw cards in our deck than we do other cards in our deck. We have 21 draw cards in our deck and 19 non-draw cards. This is why we actually have proof of this. Now, I'm going to show proof of this. So, this is 44 wins in a row. And in all those 44 games, I pulled off four negates plus 43 times. I've streamed it live, and that's 43. That's like a 98% success rate of the combo of four plus negates. And a lot of the times going second is through max C, all this shit. No problem. Through hand traps, no problem. Thousand negates through any hand trap. And now to go back to the deck list, we play one Magic Serpent Demon. That's all you need. It's not the best to open. Three Serpent Demon, best card in the game, hands down. Three Magical Abductor, three Abyss Actor Curtain Razor, one Mythical Beach Jackal King. Don't play more Jack of Kings. It's not good to draw. You can't scale it. Mythical Beast Cerberus sucks. Don't play it. You, because you draw 20, uh, there's 21 draw cards in the deck. Keep in mind that if you don't open the blue boy, you search it every time. So you have a built-in guaranteed draw to every game of Crowley. And you're probably going to draw five, six times. There's times when I have, I can't even activate Pot of Desires because on turn one, I have nine cards in my deck. So if I activate, it won't even let me activate Pot of Desires because I'll auto lose by deck out on turn one. Like you could play Exodia in this deck and hard draw it. That's how crazy it is. Uh, and I, but we do play Exodia. It's called Endymion. So, uh, three Magical Abductor, infinitely better, by the way, than Mythical Beasts, because Abductor searches anything you need, and it searches a low skill, such as Jackal, such as Mighty Master, such as Servant, it's resolved the Servant. It's ridiculously powerful. You normal summon the Abductor, search the Souls, and it's a level four. Uh, I decided not to play Dweller, but if you want to play Dweller, you don't need Dweller to clap up Tier Limit. You just clap them up normally, just by dueling. Curtain Razor is a spell counter, because you put abductor or server in the scale and then use curtain razor and then special summon it so it's an extender plus a spell because it counts as a spell for servant or abductor 
then one jackal, I guess, is all you need at bricks. You don't want more than one. Three Mighty Master, it's a high scale. It also bricks. Mighty Master and Jackal do not help put themselves on board. The rest of the cards put themselves on board. That's why it's so powerful. You're trying to get spell counters and cards that hold spell counters. These don't do that, but you still need the Mighty Master because it's your high scale. One Reflection. Three Upstart, three Into the Void. One Spell Book Secrets. Two Pot of Desires. One Spell Book Knowledge. Two Engage. Three Spell Power Mastery. Two Triple Tactic Talents. Three Ticking Game. One Sky Striker Mecha Hornet. And Widow Anchor. Going second, the reason why the deck doesn't need hand traps, any board that's built is bro broken. Because if you look how many draw cards there are. Now, yes, there are draw cards, but if you look now, how many completely replace themselves for another card? This is advanced theory for you guys. So you got th these cards I'm about to mention replace themselves for another card. It's like Upstart Goblin. So it says a 40 card deck, but it's really like a 25 card deck. So Blue Boy replaces itself. Upstart replaces itself. That's four cards. Into the Void replaces itself. That's seven. Secrets replaces itself, that's 8. Desires replaces itself, it's 10. Knowledge replaces itself with anything in deck because of because of Artemis, that's 11. Engage replaces itself because it always draws 1, that's 13. Uh, Talents replaces itself going 2nd, so it's 15. And 3 Chicken Game replaces itself, that's 18. Because you have 18 draw cards, just say 16. Because Talents is not always a draw card. You have 16 draw cards that replace themselves. That means going 2nd, on um, going 1st, you're playing a 24 card deck. So you're playing a 24 card deck with max consistency. That's why... The consistency of, deck, of this deck is ridiculous. This is why you put up four to six to seven negates. It was 98% of the time was the number that we had. It was 44 duels we played that we won. Like, no, no, not 44, like random ones that we won. It's not like we won 44 and five. No, 44 straight victories. In those 44 straight victories, we have 43 of those was full combo of four plus negates. And the, full, the one uh, time it wasn't a full combo, we still won anyways, because we still was able to stop them with Widow Anchor and uh not stop like they still put up something then we just beat them on our following turn so to have a 98 percent success rate like 43 or 44 is absurd a max consistency and it's because of the draw cards now going second you think oh how does this deck go second there's no hand traps you let your opponent put up their loser board and you destroy it you destroy it with cards like triple tactics talents widow anchor and engage and hornet because hornet goes hayate which gets uh sends engage kagari gets it back so you play six cards that gets to widow anchor or talents now, out of those six cards, remember, you're playing a 24-card deck. It says 40, but do not be mistaken, my friends. It's actually uh, way less. It's 24 because 16 of them replace themselves with a draw card. It's like playing 16 Upstar Goblins. So the consistency going first and second is ridiculous. You see Servant every game, and you see anytime going second. If you want to see Talents or you want to see Widow Anchor, you get it. This is also why when I'm, I'm streaming, I'm like, yo, my next card is exactly what I need because... It's either going to be a draw card or I'm going to, like, I know what I already went through in my deck. I know the next card is going to be engaged. I know the next card is Money Master. It's like you're literally Pegasus dueling. You know what the next cards are because you're only playing a 16-card deck or a 24-card deck. So if the next card's Upstar Goblin, you're really only playing, like, like eight three-ups and the rest are just draw cards. So it's remarkable. Like, it's next-level power. Uh, that's the extra, now the extra deck is one Vortex Dragon, one Absolute Dragon, one Kagari, one Hayate. I was thinking about removing Hayate, but it's nice when you open Hornet, and it's nice to go Kagari down Hayate, so you can put something under, under Hayate. You need Artemis, because if you now, anytime you open Servant Magister Abductor, you could turn it into Artemis, and Knowledge will still resolve to draw. So Hayate and Artemis basically make Knowledge and Hornet never a brick. Uh, Crawley, Electromite, Masquerina. Masquerina is not super required, but it's if you want to flex and put up even more interruptions. Cross Sheep Vital for the Vortex combo. Dark, in, in, insane in this format. Uh, I stole someone's window before. It was incredible. Beyond the Pendulum, Double Selene, Apollosa, Access Code. Uh, if you could remove one card next to it, it would be Hayate for a third Selene. That's the deck. Now, if you guys want to see more combos of this, I want you guys to comment below and let me know and smash the like button. If we get enough likes, 1,000 likes, I'm going to show, showcase duels where I clap tier limit and send them back to the ban list where they belong. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!